So first of all, I love RFID. I think it's a great technology if you want to count things. Like the analogy I often use is like RFID is like riding a bicycle. If you're trying to get across town, short distance, specific use case, it's great. But most of us use cars and that's really what we need. And that's really what Williot is. So the difference is that RFID, you blast a wave out, it hits an antenna and you get a unique ID back. Mm -hmm. So it's great if you want to just understand what you have in an environment. What we do is we actually harvest that same wave. If you have RFID deployed already, we love it. It's a great power source. Otherwise, we can also harvest power from the Bluetooth band and the Wi-Fi band. So we harvest all those radio waves and turn on a, a tiny capacitor. It's like a little battery. And once it gets enough power, this computer flips on, does all the sensing locally, and shoots it back up. So what that means is we get way more data. We're not limited to just unique ID. We can encrypt the information. And so the sensing capabilities are just exponentially broader than they are with RFID. So that's how the two technologies compare. In terms of the cost of ownership, because each pixel is a tiny computer, we don't have to put the intelligence at the infrastructure component. Mm. So something like this, this is a bridge, this might light up 15 square meters. This costs $36. You can just go order it right now. A corollary device from RFID would cost you 1200. And that's just to read. If you want angle of arrival or like RTLS, you can pay for a $30,000 antenna array, but we can get the same performance using the metadata off the tag and machine learning. So you're not investing $30,000 to saturate an area, you're investing 36 and we're doing the rest in the cloud.